Hello, welcome to week 37 of Beloved Blackness. I'm Dr. B. I missed y'all these past two weeks. Um, I had the wonderful privilege of attending the National Conference on Black African Psychology held at my alma mater, Florida a and University this past weekend. And can't wait to just kind of start to um, uh, just share some of the rich of what I received while I was there. But the first thing I want to encourage you to do at the bottom of the video is a word that says subscribe in all red letters. Press that button at the end of this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I had several people at the conference ask me, how can I get updates that you when you put a, a new vlog out? Well, if you hit subscribe, then you'll get a notification in your email that's connected to your YouTube account indicating that a new episode or a new vlog has been um, uploaded. So please do that. And so over the um, span of the next few weeks, I'm definitely going to be talking more about um, some of the richness from the conference. And this year we honored um, Baba Kobe, um, my mentor while I was at Florida A&M Florida University. And I um, said in week one um, of um, launching this series that he was the reason, uh, the catalyst, his transition was a catalyst for me um, starting the weekly Beloved Blackness vlog. So that was an honor to be there, honor to be able to talk about um, how he impacted me. And um, here we go with another week. So this weekend, I am uh, I'm, I'm producing and offering a ceremony along with a whole host of team of us who are um, honoring what's called Nakambuka Day. And officially Nakambuka Day is November 11th, so it's the same day as Veterans Day. And Nakambuka is a Kiswahili word that means I will remember. And it's about remembering the Ma'afa. So we've talked a lot on Beloved Blackness about the Ma'afa, great disaster and destruction beyond human comprehension and convention referring to the kidnapping, enslaving of African descendant people and um, all of the, the, um, the follow-up to those um, events too. So it includes co um, um, Jim Crow laws, it includes mass incarceration now, um, school to prison pipeline, all of that is considered still a part of the Ma'afa, the dehumanizing impact of the terrorization and um, brutality that continues to be inflicted upon people of African descent, but its origins um, um, being highlighted in the kidnapping and the enslavement experience through the transatlantic enslavement trade. And so part of what is really important for us as a people is to find ways to heal from that collective trauma. One of the things that Baba Kobe really always talked about was the importance of taking the theory of African-centered psychology and African personality theory, and he's developed a lot around that that we'll start to unpack over um, the next few months. But his he really emphasized we have to find ways to be able to heal from this collective trauma, not just talk about the trauma and the ways in which we've manifested it as a community, the impact of it, um, how it's manifested, but also find ways of healing. Nakambuka Day is one of those ways in which we can begin to choose to heal. It doesn't feel good to think about these atrocities, right? But if we don't, we're missing out on a rich opportunity to grieve the losses, those loss of lives, but also the loss of, um, of, of, of hope, the loss in terms of the community, the family life, that there was so much that was lost through, it has been lost through the mob. And in order for us to be able to reclaim our hope, reclaim our lives, reclaim our community, reclaim our value, we have to do the hard work of facing the pain of those losses and Nakambuka Day creates a space where we can lament collectively because we can't handle the loss by ourselves just as individual isolated people. We need to have the community to help us bear the lament and we also have to have the community to help us be able to call forth the resources to strengthen us to be able to move forward and to be able to move forward with a sense of wholeness about who we are. So if you're in the local Southern California area, Nakambuka Day is going to be this Saturday, November 16th at Pasadena City College in the, um, the Center for the Arts building, room 101, from 4 to 6 p.m. 
Parking is $2. And so please come out um, if you want to have an opportunity to be enriched, to connect with your ancestors, and to see what God's going to do in terms of bringing forth healing, not just in our own personal lives, but in our collective lives. Because our community, we need it. So hopefully this weekend, if you're in the area, you'll join us on Saturday, November 16th from 4 to 6 p.m. at Pasadena City College, Center of the Arts, um, room 101. So CA 101 and parking is $2. And tell everyone you know about it to come on out and um, let's remember together um, those lives of our ancestors who were not slaves. They weren't slaves. They were enslaved African people. That they were persons. They had dignity. They had value. They had worth. And we're going to honor their dignity, their value, and their worth by speaking their names on Saturday. All right. Can't wait to see you there. Don't forget, subscribe, that red button. Bye.